Na warte, du Bieb. Und wie hat dir das gefallen, hä? Danke für das Licht. Das hat ihn geblendet. Diese Mistviecher haben was gegen Fackeln. Vielleicht haben wir so eine Möglichkeit, aus dieser Hölle wieder herauszukommen. Oh, ach ja, ich bin Celebro. Ihr habt. Welcome, Biotech is here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Nehrim at Fate's Edge, a total conversion mod for Elder Scroll 4 Oblivion. Yeah! So basically, this is quite an awesome mod, which, if I remember correctly, um, was awarded Best Single Player Mod of 2010. So, yeah, I definitely need to play it, because I never played it till this moment, and it is time to correct that mistake. So before you uh, start the installation thingy, the first thing you need is obviously Elder Scroll Oblivion installed. Either the CD version, and I would suggest that you get with the add-on and stuff, because I'm not really sure if you need that or just like the normal Oblivion, because there is like sh the Shivering, Shivering Isles expansion. So. Just install everything like Shivering Isle and also patch it to the latest version just to be sure. So once you have uh, uh, Oblivion installed then you can also get it on Steam which is a lot easier. You just click install and everything is done and you don't have to worry about anything. And if you are wondering where you can get the latest patch for Oblivion just google it. You will probably find like Oblivion latest patch or something like that. So, once you've installed Oblivion, then you can either go here to the file section, let me just open the, open that in a new window, or you can scroll down, read about the mod, like basically there are new continents, different climatic regions, an overhaul leveling and skill system, complex main quests, uh, basically a lot of new stuff, also some uh, screenshots apparently. And you uh, scroll down till you find the files section. So what you are interested in is the version that uh, kind of goes with your language, I would uh, suggest. So uh, English or uh, German or French. I'm not going to go into details about the Japanese because today I'm going to just install the English um, version. So... I would suggest that you grab this one, Nihrim 1.5.0.8 full English version, right? If you are French, just grab the French version or German. So in order to uh, download, just click on the one you want. Basically for me is the English version. Uh, this window should pop up. There will be a big red button. Click on that one. And then it should automatically start downloading. And I, I know I'm repeating this in every vid in how to install video I'm making, but uh, I want to make sure that everyone can do it. So yeah, basically if you have problems downloading and it says that there is no mirrors, wait a few minutes or select a different mirror over here. Like there is a button here, mirrors, which uh, will allow you to change the download location or just wait a, a few minutes I think I said that already or try to uh, log in like make an account and log in and that should usually fix the problem okay so once you've downloaded the file you should have this thingy nechrim install uh, underscore 1.5.0.8 underscore en basically because it's English exe so you don't need even need 7-zip or WinRA. Click on it. Click on Run. Usually it would take a bit of time due to the UAC or whatever, user account or user whatever, like that protection thingy that asks you, are you really sure you want to open that program? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Important. Before installing, make sure that you have uh, the latest patch for the Elder Scroll Oblivion. Yes, there, there you have. 
Oblivion patch version 1.2.0416 uh, installed. This is absolutely necessary for Nehrim to run properly. And you even have here, like you can download it at www.elderscroll.com. So, yeah. My version is the Steam version, obviously. So, technically it's patched to the latest version. So, yeah, no problems here. And then just click I accept, next. And now you have to find where your... Um, Oblivion installation is located. If it is the CD version, technically you should know where it is installed. If it is the Steam version, um, the installation should be something like, I don't know why it's always going to see, because, yeah, nobody really installed. I hope, like maybe general people install stuff and see, like games and, yeah. Okay, so let me just find where I've installed Steam. So basically, in, uh, once you've located your Steam folder, just find Steam Apps, Common, and then, um, how is it called? It's, is it either Oblivion or Elder Scroll? It's not Elder Scroll, so it should be Oblivion. Okay, there we go, just the, the Oblivion thingy. And uh, yeah, click on Oblivion and it will automatically create a folder called Nehrim. So I guess that's okay. Uh, right, so setup will install. Are there anything that. Hopefully, I'm not doing anything wrong. So yeah, click next. Um, create. Um, let's. We'll create a copy of Oblivion folder to run Nehrim. Create a desktop icon. Also, basically, it uh, allows you to it allows you to have a different folder so you don't corrupt your main uh, main Oblivion folder. Basically, so you will have Oblivion and Nehrim. So if you want that, leave it. Create a copy of Oblivion folder to run Nehrim. It will uh, take a bit more space, but basically you'll have the Oblivion thingy as well. Also, create a desktop icon, why not? And install bonus material, why not? If you want it, like music, artworks, you can check it or... I, actually, I'm going to just leave it uh, to, till the create desktop icon. And install. So, let's see what... Uh, it will do. I think I'm going to resume the video once this is installed. So see you till then. Okay, so the installation is done apparently, and you can also here uh, have here a view readme text. If you need Net Framework 2.0, which is required, so if you don't have it basically oh it's not required on windows vista or higher okay so windows 7 is all right so finish the readme let's see So if you need some more information over here you'll have all the things that you need Oh, there is a warning apparently. If you are using Windows Vista 7, then please do not install Nehrim into one of the program folders. So basically, don't install it in C. Which is like, I hope people don't install stuff in C. Because, yeah, not very awesome. So there we have, this is the new launcher thingy, whatever, whatever. So the last thing you need to do is click on Start Nehrim. And the uh, thing that I really love about this mod is that there are mods for this mod, which is amazing, right? So let's see if it works. Okay, so there was a small problem. When I clicked on the launcher and start Nehrim, basically it will open a window for 
the oblivion launcher and everything uh, every option is grayed out except like exit and elder scroll so i just uh, read the readme files and i found something very interesting so first of all if you are having the cd version the way we've installed it is okay basically you'll have a different folder but and just click start nehrim and it should start the game if you are having Steam like I do, uh, Steam doesn't really like having two installations of Oblivion, you know, the protection. So in order to fix the problem, um, go into your uh, Nehrim created folder and copy the content inside of that into your normal Oblivion thing, right? Make a backup if you are not sure that, um, like, if you are a bit worried about your oblivion, right? Just create a, like, uh, a backup and then copy all the files from Nihrim. But this is only for the Steam version, just because Steam uh, has its copy protection and it doesn't like having di different... Uh, files like different games installed like the same game twice in different folders so yeah because basically when you are clicking on Nehrim launcher and clicking play it will go to your normal oblivion right not the folder the different folder here with the ob second oblivion installation so we just have to wait till all the files are copied I'm going to actually resume the video once this is done. Okay, so it has been copied. And we've copied all the files from Nehrim folder to the main Oblivion folder. Now, in order to start the game, don't use the Nehrim launcher if you are having the Steam version. Don't do it. Just for the CD version. For the Steam version, you want to use the normal Oblivion launcher and click on it. And go into Data Files. And do uh, select only the Nihrim uh, ESM, Nihrim Data ESP, and Nihrim English ESP. That's the only one that should have an X mark on them. That's it. Uncheck Oblivion and Knights and Shivering Isles. Because you don't want them. Because uh, otherwise the game won't start. And click OK and play. So let's see if it works. Okay, so here we are. Nihrim at Fate's Edge, yeah! So it works basically. Now let's uh, actually check the game out. Start a new game. Alright, let's enter our name. Uh, we have different uh, races compared to the vanilla game. Right, should be okay, yes. Okay, one thing that you should remember. If you are starting the game and you didn't read the text, you won't be able to move from this spot. Right? So you definitely have to uh, read the quest line so the quest line said that i have to equip a torch so let's go to over here and equip the torch and see now i can move and yeah as you heard the game basically is in german but it has english subtitles and wie hat dir das gefallen huh? danke für das licht das hat ihn geblendet Diese Mistviecher haben was gegen Fackeln. Vielleicht haben wir so eine Möglichkeit, aus dieser Hölle wieder herauszukommen. Oh, ach ja, ich bin Celebro. Ihr habt da auch eine hübsche Beule am Kopf, wie ich sehe. Schöne Schweinerei. Irgendjemand hat uns niedergeknüppelt. Oder besser gesagt, irgendetwas. Well, Und wie es aussieht, haben wir jetzt ein Problem. Diese Bestien hier betrachten uns wohl als Futter. Das jedenfalls würde die ganzen Toten überall erklären. Wir müssen hier raus, und zwar schnell, bevor noch mehr von diesen Ungeheuern aufkreuzen. Zum Glück habt ihr eine Fackel, so finden wir den Weg. Die Trolle haben uns hierher gebracht. Demnach gibt es auch irgendwo einen Ausgang. 
Oh, wenn ich herausbekomme, wer für diesen Brief verantwortlich ist, ich sage euch. Okay, so basically it works. Um, what's yeah. going on? Whatever, whatever. I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to spoil as little as uh, from the story as possible. So now you can definitely move, and uh, we have a different inventory system, like different items, uh, magic spells, stuff, different system over here of skills okay so everything is awesome and there we have a monster yeah can i move it no i can't yeah well never mind so it works let me just quit okay so I want to recap something. First of all, don't install it in C program files. Don't do that. Right? Second of all, if you are installing it in the CD version, do as I did in the video and create a new folder for the Nihrim. Like if you remember that dot, uh, uh, saying create a new folder with Oblivion and Nihrim. Right, if you have the CD version, do that. If you are having the Steam version, don't do that. Or if you are doing that, just copy the files uh, from the Nihrim folder into your main main uh, Steam uh, Oblivion folder, right? Because Steam doesn't like having two different types of folders with the same game. And other than that, uh, don't forget if you are having the Steam version, don't use the launcher. Don't use the launcher, right? And um, use the normal Oblivion launcher, not the Nihrim, because it doesn't work. So if you and when you are using the normal Oblivion launcher, don't forget to deselect Oblivion, like the normal Oblivion and the DLC, just the Nihrim files. Those, like uh, as I showed you in the video with the data, data file, and make sure only Nihrims are uh, checked. And it should work. Okay, so I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And see you in the next episode.